welcome everybody. My name is Jeff Landstadt. I am the marketing and brand manager here at Cyan. And today I'm joined by Mr. Eric Anderson. Uh, and Mr. Eric Anderson, since I've introduced you, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, crap. You are? <laughs> I'm, the, I'm, I'm Eric. I'm the creative director at Cyan. Yes, you are. And today we are going to be um, walking around the island, talking, having kind of an interview. I've got a bunch of questions that uh, that a lot of you guys have been asking me over the last year or so that I've been collecting and uh, promising to eventually get to 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 ask them. And so today I'm looking forward to asking some of them as well as to you know hear stories and talk about whatever. Are they are they angry about. questions or are they friendly questions? Oh, they're they're super angry. Everybody's incensed. There's That's... pitchforks. There's torches. No, everybody is. That tracks with is... my understanding of our fans. That's, That's no. right. <laughs> That's right. No, everybody has been very polite. So uh, before we jump too far into it, I do have a couple of housekeeping things that I want to say for uh, those who are watching. Um, the, the first one may be already obvious to you, but this is not being recorded live. Uh, so we're not actually going to be able to tackle questions uh, in real time. So, you know, feel free to to kick around in the chats all you want or whatever. But uh, we're recording this a week before you're seeing it so we're not going to be able to see those questions this time out we're sort of we're sort of hoping to do some more live back and forth at some point i'll i'll sort of tease that but we're not there today uh so this is what we have um the other thing that i wanted to mention uh that i wanted to mention um is uh our new uh, newly reimagined, uh, fully modernized version of Mist uh, is currently available on a bunch of different stores. I'm just going to name them off, and then I will make sure to you know throw links into into descriptions or whatever if you can't find them with a Google search. So we're currently available on Steam, on the Epic Game Store, on GOG, uh, Xbox, Microsoft. Uh, the Mac store, uh, Oculus store, and the Vive port store. And the primary reason we're doing this today is Mist for PC is currently on sale on the Steam, on the Steam store uh, for the first time ever. That, and that sale is going to go from November 24th to December 1st. So you got, what if my math is right, eight days to take advantage of that. Uh, and there's a bunch of our other games as well, which are that'll, also That'll work be- for Mac users as well, right? Correct. The Steam version is is good for PC, PC VR, and the Mac version. And uh, I, it's maybe worth noting for our Mac users that uh, this version of Mist is optimized for the new M1 chipset. So we are one of a just a small handful of uh, uh, games, or maybe even just apps in general, that are optimized for M1 at this point. So uh, that's kind of exciting. We're pretty mm-hmm. proud of that. And um, I think we also have so, uh, full DLSS and FSR support yes. on Mac as well, which I think we were the first game to actually have both. We we were the first. I'll I'll make sure to toss a, an article link because actually Hannah worked up a great article on that for those who are into the technical end of things. So um, that's kind of my housekeeping business. So uh, I think we can sort of jump into the reason that we're all here which is to kind of look at the game hear some stories talk chat see if we can come up with something fun so i will pitch a softball question to start with (laughs) i hope they're all Uh, softball questions (laughs) yeah they're they're all kind of softball questions i suppose but uh uh, eric i'm wondering if you could uh maybe introduce yourself uh give a little bit of a a background to who you are and what you do and sure um yeah, I mean, I, I know some of our fan base is going to know you well, uh, but for those who don't, tell us about you. Sure, uh, I I have been working, um, I've been working adjacent to this island here for pretty much the entirety of my of my career. Um, I started at Cyan in two thousand, which was a while ago, and um, it's funny because when I started, I I, I I started to work on Uru, which is the uh, uh, MMO project we did back back then. It was a it was a big awesome project. And um, when I started, they were just finishing work on this little little game called Real Mist, which was a real time um, recreation of the original Mist. Mm-hmm. And for 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 anybody on YouTube going like, oh, what's this real time game? I've never heard of. So this is. I mean, do we want to go all the way back? What is Mist? Um, eh, Mist, you Mist, know, Mist came yeah. out in nineteen ninety 
three, and it was a yeah. it was a it was a slideshow. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, groundbreaking at the time, but it was uh, still images that you would transition from one to the next. It wasn't real time, and so to um, to be starting at Cyan in in the year two thousand, um, a mere seven years after the original Mist came out, and to have them doing a real time version of that game was mind blowing. And it was a it was a exercise in at the time we were using something called the Plasma Engine, which was a uh, in house real time three D graphics engine. This was before the days where you could just get you know Unreal or or something else off the shelf and have it do everything you wanted. Um, we, the Cyan was heavily invested in, in their own custom technology. And so they thought, rather than just using it for the first time on Uru, this massive multi- multiplayer game, why don't we try a smaller project? Let's oh, see if we can get Mist working in the Plasma Engine as sort of a testbed. And so they did. And so I, I did not actually work on that directly. I, I think I did a little bit of QA support for it um, at the very, very end. Um, but I've been adjacent to this island in this space literally my entire career that was my first game dev job i started in like i said in 2000 and um so i'm very very familiar with mist and all of the the trappings of everything that comes with it and the mythology and the and the universe and the all the different versions um but this is actually this is the version that i actually worked on the most right i haven't really touched it there's been several versions that we there was a couple in unity um, but this is the version that was really my first foray into like, okay, now well, let's get our hands on Mist and see see what what we can make happen. Um, of course, working alongside uh, uh, other people who have who have worked on previous iterations, um, notably uh, on the art side, Jeremiah Castro, one of our longtime artists who, who has mm-hmm. worked on previous ver- previous uh, multiple previous versions of this. Um, Carl and Jason, two of our programmers who worked on the previous versions as well. Like they, th- this was like well tread territory for them sure Um, but uh doing it in the unreal engine in this new this new format and and really trying to get as much mileage out of it as we could was a was a treat it was a treat i did not answer your question about what i do here at all i totally like just blab yeah yeah. um quite all right i I, i'm an i'm an art guy i came up through the art art uh uh system here at cyan i started as an artist and and a lead and a, a art director on on a couple projects and uh, and and now my title is creative director. Don't ask me what that means. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> so if I if if I could interject here because I get to watch you do this, uh, I believe that the 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 title of creative director means you attend a lot of meetings and you weep a lot. Yes. Does that yes. sound fair? Does yeah. That seem reasonable. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a lot of crying. That wasn't in. That was not what they put in the job description. Um, it would have been probably better if that. No, it's. <laughs> it's gonna be the worst. Uh, this is gonna be the worst uh, live stream because we just want to crack jokes the whole time. Uh, well, you know, um, uh, the, the the as as y'all may have guessed at this point, Eric and I have known one another for years. So yes, it will be very tempting for us to <laughs> to run down rabbit trails and inside jokes and whatever. I will. I will oh, we'll do my do best. It. Uh, to to uh, to avoid that because as much fun as it will be for me, uh, uh, to, probably to, will be less fun for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> to get, to give a more a, a less uh, a snarky answer, um, <laughs> I mean my my job on this was was really to to try to um, point the ship in the right direction in terms of mm. the vision we were trying to you know hit and and taking a game like Mist um, or even Real Mist, which already had lots of lots of changes made to it, and bringing it to a modern audience um, had a lot of things to be considered and a lot of things sure. that the whole team, and I don't, I don't mean to imply that like, that was my job. It's like, no, we have a team of people whose, whose job, the entire team's job was, was asking those questions and answering those questions. Um, in addition, I, I do a whole lot of stuff with, uh, with our technology pipeline and the shaders and rendering stuff uh, in, in particular. But um, yeah, I'm I'm just I'm just one guy among among many um, really talented people at the company doing doing a whole lot of whole lot of sure. complex and 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 scary work, um, uh, and I feel very honored to to be that. Yeah. So, one one of the things that that at some point 
over this development process of Mist that you dropped, which as the marketing guy, I completely stole and then have been using ever since because it was such a great line. Uh, but I think it really it really encapsulates and captures this version of Mist it, uh, and, the, and the ethos of how you guys went into uh, developing this game, mm -hmm. which was um, Mist the way you remember it, but like you've never seen it before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's and I, I really like that was a true statement. That wasn't that wasn't necessarily yeah. marketing speak. Um, it is now. <laughs> the yeah, it was the way I say it is, is we didn't we didn't want to try to recreate Mist verbatim the way it was and just like mm -hmm. plus it up. We wanted to try to build the game that you think you remember. Um, because people all the time, people be like, oh, my God, Mist is so beautiful. It's so amazing. I wish I could go back there. And you, you, you know, you're like, have you seen yeah. the screenshots lately? Because it, and they go and they look and they're like, oh my, even myself, I'm, I fall prey to it as well. In fact, um, I'll, I will, I will, this is actually a great area to talk about this. Um, yeah. This, we call this like the garden, the garden area, right? It's the, it's the, the flowers uh, by the puzzle boxes around the fountain. Um, this is a very nebulous area in the original game. And if you look at the original, especially the terrain, there's almost no geometry and it's it's big spike it's a it's a height map which is the same technology we're using here honestly but it was such an early version of it that the, you see these big spiky triangles over it and it's really blurry and the whole thing and people yeah. look at that and they're like oh oh i don't i don't remember that it, right cuz in 93 it was it was revolutionary it was amazing yeah, yeah. um and so our mission was to look at those screenshots and go Okay, how would we do this for a modern audience and reinterpret it um, in a way that doesn't look like just a cheesy remake of the original? Um, sure. And you know, honestly, we we had a lot, a lot of a lot of the work that had come prior in the real Mist iterations um, got us most of the way there. But we did make some pretty pretty dramatic changes. Um, you know, th if I look over the island and I and I analyze the things that changed, there was a pretty iconic control panel here that looked like a big like bus steering wheel right. valve thing and we, we had a lot of back and forth and a lot of you know opinions all over the map on what we wanted to do here we ended up going with a control panel that that was more consistent with the control panels that we are doing in the mechanical age which we'll we'll visit in a in a future clip um and it's 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 consistency like why wouldn't they have just used the same control panel or the, of the same style or um other changes were uh, more aesthetic, right? So, like, let me run over to the. This originally was um, a rocky hillside up here with a little bit of concrete work, and it was changed to a be more in line with what's happening in the mechanical age. But also, just looking at like how would they, how 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 would I say they, Atris, I guess, or whoever sure. you know wrote the age. Yeah. Um, how would they have solved the situation where they need a platform? Would they have built stuff right on top of the rocks? Or let's mm -hmm. look to the real world for like how concrete foundations are used and utilized and, and all that. And it presented a really nice opportunity to, to bring sort of a whiff of, I guess, realism um, okay. to, to the sure. game. Because sure. Myst is a very whimsical game, right? It's, it's if you look at the original, especially Myst Island, it's this mishmash of, you know, we've got Corinthian columns and we've got this library or museum we've got this planetarium um we've got a, we've got a rocket ship <laughs> right. you know, and a wood cabin it, it's kind of all over the map and it's whim yeah. whimsical is the is the phrase that comes to mind but then you look at the rest of what mist became you look at riven you look at the seek the the further sequels of mist um it it it's it's fantastical but it's less playfully whimsy and it's a little bit more grit a little bit more realism and that was um that was also a big hallmark of what we were trying to do was to bring some of that f that believability um into the space so like even things like i'm going to go into the library here you know the old paintings used to be these these magical things that you would click right. on and they would spin and do their thing and when when we came in here to rebuild to to reinterpret I should say this version yeah that that like we don't we don't want to cultivate a feeling of magical you know it's 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 not sure. meant to be magic it, it's it's a the art of writing and linking is clearly magical but it sort of has this air of structure around it of believability there, there's some groundedness to yes, it yes grounded grounded is the best way to put it yeah and so yeah. that presented an opportunity 
Well, this is a good. This is also a good opportunity to talk about mm-hmm. VR um, interactions, right? Because if you're if you're on a flat screen playing a game, sure you can click the painting. That's a good interface. Or even if you're playing mouse and keyboard, we could have done that. But if you're in VR and you want the player to interact with this painting, you don't go into a museum and start poking paintings. Like nobody's going to try and do that. So you need to you need to give a clue about there's something to do here something to interact sure, with. Sure, sure. And so along those lines, we added these, you know, it looks like a you know bike handlebar or whatever, but these mechanical handles that give a, a real world way of actuating the, the painting, um, which of course reveals the, the stairway. And we've got another one over here that, that, that retracts the stairway. Um, it, it, it occurs to me that, that potentially in the, in the, at the top of this thing, I should have said there might be spoilers. Oh, so yeah. I will say that now. Yeah. There might be a few spoilers. So if you haven't played, that, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's about what that. you get for waiting for a sale. That's yeah. all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, but so, okay. But the spirally painting is like, to me, that's in my DNA. I grew up, I grew sure. up with the original that you, yeah. I didn't want to change that. So then it yeah. was like, okay, now I have to tell myself a story about like, okay, maybe Atris had some sort of a display technology where He's actually building, you know, a, a LED or something display into a oil painting, and so I, I, I wanted to retain the texture of the oil paint on the paint, you know. And so if you right. if you go up here and you can see it's actually animating separate from the from the texture of the thing, and the uh, I'm not making any sense at this point, but yeah, no, same no, that, same thing yeah. with the map, right? It has it actually has scan lines, um, as if there's like an LED display behind the map, uh, and and now we have a mechanical. Uh, mechanical handle where you're actually, you know, gripping and turning again for VR. But um, this presented all these opportunities of like, how can we, how can we take what was so integral to the original and retain it, but make it accessible and modern and and all that stuff. So sure, absolutely. Um, which which I, I guess, as much as anything, feeds into one of the one of the biggest questions we kept hearing about, or we've I've kept seeing over the last year or so is is uh what has changed uh specifically for vr and of course you've you've hit on a a fair number of them at this point um is there anything else that like while we're while we're here on mist island that you want to talk about specifically with regards to um the process of how we arrived at yeah something yeah one of the mo one of the one of the bigger changes actually is um is the the planetarium so Mm. um with the planetarium uh originally this was a this was a dentist chair looking thing right this whole it was like a a red leather creepy looking dentist chair um and the player would 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 sit in it and you know would look up and that that presents a whole range of problems for vr because sitting in vr is a is a is a problem um because a lot of players myself included like to sit when I anyway. when I play, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, sitting anyway, yeah. and I'm just pretending yeah. I'm, at, I'm at eye height. Um, so to ask me to then like what sink into the ground somehow to sit, it, it right. becomes a problem. Um, and so you have this sort of like everybody's playing with a different physical setup, and the physical setup really matters when you're playing VR because mm-hmm. you're asking people to physically move around the space. And after lots of trial and error, um, and sort of focusing on our fundamentals of VR development having the player stay in a standing position was the best option and so what we came up with was this it's it's a design of the standing control thing it still has creepy vibes like the original <laughs> and it retains right. it retains some of the materiality and sort of the vibe of the original but it's designed so that the player doesn't have to contort themselves to get into into the proper position and we accommodate all players we accommodate players who who can't stand or can't sit or can't you know and ac- the accessibility side of it as well Right. Um, yeah. That's a that's a big one. Um trying to think of some other good Mist Island examples. Um we already went over several of them in the library, which I think are are um noteworthy. Um Yeah, I, I mean in in general I just think about the I, I guess I mean to to come back to that word of grounded. It feels like there there are a number of elements that went from from magical to grounded, whether, whether it's, um, I, I don't know the, the little, the little switches Mm -hmm. by the fountain or, um, 
you know the the controls for the clock or yeah or yeah you. really every opportunity we could find to take something that was sort of goofy or or felt out yeah. of place in the original and, and give it a, a fresh coat of paint or a fresh redesign these garden boxes are some of my i think i've said this on, on in some other live streams these are some of my favorite assets in the entire game and these were done by uh blake bierke one of our longtime mm -hmm. 3d artists technical artists and um he did these a while a while back. This was one of the first assets that was built for this um, back when we, we were toying with doing a, a VR version of Mist many many years ago, um, and th they they got changed just a little bit during this iteration. But for the most part, they're still the same. And he loved the idea of trying to incorporate. Um, if you're familiar with Nixie tubes, if I say Nixie tubes, you know. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, and. You know, because in the original, it was like a weird brown box or a green box. I forget what color it was. And it just had these these yeah. outline shapes appear. And these new versions just have so much dimensionality and so much um, uh, believability to them. It's right, you know, the way that you look in there, especially in VR, you can really get a sense of depth and you can sense the way that the light is in there. Um, there's It's covered in fasteners. And they, we're, yeah. we're suckers at cyan for anything that that adds that touch of like how was something built like sure a, you know it's like micro environmental storytelling an object should should tell you about itself just by glancing at it and you look at this and it's like wow this does not this doesn't look like it was built by some guy using rocks and sticks this is clearly machined and you know who somebody right. who knew what they were doing and um i just love it i love it right um, so, so not not to put a button in this, but we got four other ages to visit. Oh. So, um, is there anything in particular? I'll, I will leave the last word to you. Is there anything in particular that you you haven't talked about uh, on Mist Island, or that you want to point out, or that you you love about Mist Island, or hate about? I don't care. Tell me something. Uh, Mist Island. I I love me some Mist Island. Um. I gotta say though, I'm going to like if if I if I deep if I if I reach deep back into my memory well of like when I was when I was a, a younger person. I guess I was in I was in high school when Mist came out, and that was mm. the first time I ever played it. Was you know like the, my senior year of high school. I was high school slash college, and there was something about those Quick Time movies in the original. And I don't I don't just mean the the, sure. the live video stuff. I mean the the, the rendered sequences and the elevators in particular. And so for some reason okay. to this day, every time I get in this elevator, um, I just have this warm feeling of like, man, I remember, I remember when I was a kid just staring at my Mac screen, watching the little postage stamp video of this. And now we're doing it in real time and it's all, you know, run real time shadows and real time light and it's right. all dynamic. And being able to write the, you know, I wrote the little shader that makes this thing look like it changes the 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 uh, the label, and it's just, wow. it's just yeah, this yeah. feeling of like being so proud to have, you know, one little pinky toe in the pond of of mist and be able to to, mm. um, just just play in it, and that just yeah. I don't know. You 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 have written a sentence in the book of ages of mist I, I don't know yeah I no I, <laughs> I was trying i don't know i can but, be corny yeah i can but that uh, uh I, honestly though it's it's been such a such an honor to be able to to play around in here and 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 bring it to a whole new generation i mean i really do mean that genuinely like bring it to a whole yeah. new generation of players and have people say you know what i played the new mist and it brought me right back in a way that none of the previous versions had and that's just like that's that's awesome right absolutely absolutely and and something that we definitely hear a lot on the twitters and on the facebooks and in the discord and and whatnot and we appreciate everybody's enthusiasm for it uh so with that said take us where we're gonna go next where are we gonna go next mr Anderson? where should what's, we go next what's um, the what's the age that we are going to dive on into we're next? gonna we're gonna go to whatever uh this number is 